Tan Shia, you bar and look good. You didn't need anything else. What's wrong with you? Gracie, you didn't look good. You don't look good again. You mess up yourself. You follow fashion. I don't care if you like me or not. The devil is a liar and the devil is lying to you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know I have a tendency to ramble. So I'm not gonna give no long introduction to what the topic of the video is today. As you can see in the title one, and um, just briefly to tell you um, that I'll be reviewing what Lady Saw had to say regarding the dancehall artist, female artist. So I'm gonna be giving my thoughts, my comments, i.e. my two cents on it and what I think. The reason why I'm doing this, the reason why I'm doing this video, which you'll notice that I don't often do videos surrounding controversies and so on. Um, I tend to shy away from it. But of course, this is a mix up if you look at it. Um, but I saw the video and I felt this was appropriate or this is a this is a good topic to um take some pointers from and give my feedback. I think it's really a good one to do a video on, especially um being someone myself who uh, got baptized when i was 17 years old and i was in church for about so 17 18 19 20 21 22 so about so a, a full 10 years or more i can't really remember exactly because i know i came to the uk probably about six years i was in church committed everything um for about six years or so so I got, I got baptized when I was 17. I got saved and baptized. So um, being someone who was, who was heavily involved in church, and then when I came to the UK, um, I fell pregnant with my daughter. And then I got married after I fell pregnant. Um, throughout this time, I mean, a lot of people would say I lost my way. I didn't see it as me losing my way. I still prayed. I still talked to God. Um, I think, especially being in the military, I just, I I was growing and I was seeing things a different way from a different outlook. And I was, I think I was coming into my own. Some people would say you're lost. But for me, um, even today, um, even my mom <laughs> sometimes feel like I'm lost. But I don't think she understands because I keep telling her I've never felt more found than I feel now. Um, I think it's more my appearance that some people would say you're lost. But not to go into all of that, it's, it's so much deeper than, you know, appearance. And that's something that I've evolved into. But anyway, tying that into Marianne All, um, formerly known as Lady Saw. Um, when I saw the video on Facebook um, of what she had to say about the dance artist, it, I took notice of it. So I said, I really want to, um, I really want to come and do a video because I just really wanted to do it. I just feel like it's something I want to address. Um, not that God told me to, because you know a lot of us we tend to use God's name when we don't even know for sure if God. I think a lot of us we we have our own self selfish agendas i would love to say god say if we do this when god never tell if we do this because the bible speak about there's a way that seems it right unto a man but the end thereof is death so anyway that being said i heard what lady Sa had to say and i was pretty much compelled to address it because um straight away and not taking anything from mariana but um, straight away, I saw, I could sense that something wasn't okay. Um, something didn't sit right in, you know, with me. Um, I said, hmm, um, not that what she said was wrong. So it's not about what you do. And my mom would say, it's about how you do things. And I've often reflected or been of the belief that 
when God is correcting us as individual, he doesn't necessarily need us as an audience. So God is not going to know this is the God that I serve and I believe. And I believe in my heart. This is how God does things based on my conviction. God is not going to know that you are a thief and let a preacher. So if a preacher calls you out in a church and say you're a thief, you need to stop thief. I would have a serious issue with that because that's not the God I know. Um... I have seen impartations in church and it's never the preacher saying you're having sex. Um, you're having sex undercover and God is going to punish you. No, it's usually the minister saying to you, um, you need to stop doing what you're doing or God wants you to get back on track. It's never to name out exactly what you're doing. It's usually just, just to say you're doing this thing and God, God wants you to stop doing what you're doing. So it's mainly like that. That's how I know it to be. So again, it's not about what you do. It's how you do it. It's, uh, you know, God is a God of love. There's a way of doing things. And second of all, um, if God wants me to minister to you, um, you, you I'll find you um, privately. And minister to you. So a couple of things that I had a problem with. The way in which um, her and all. Formerly known as Lady Saw. Came about it. And in my opinion. I would. And in my opinion. It wasn't coming from the right place. If that makes sense. And I know she had said that. People are bashing her. But I think she put herself there. Jamaicans are not stupid guys. As Jamaicans. No matter how Jamaicans love the gossip. And love whatever. I believe that the Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit will prepare people when the Holy Spirit is working. The Holy Spirit will prepare you that I'm giving the message. So if God gives me a message to give to you, the Holy Spirit will prepare you to receive that message. A lot of times people come to me privately and tell me, say, God say. But my spirit is already ready to receive it. Whether it's something that I don't want to hear, my spirit is ready because the Holy Spirit is going to prepare you to receive the message. When you find there's a conflict with receiving the message, usually it's because I know the Holy Spirit at work. So what I'm saying is, the mass that is against how um, what she had to say, I know she came about it, is usually because it wasn't coming from the right place. Or it appears, not saying for sure, certain, it appears that the Holy Spirit wasn't at work in that time. Because sometimes we are so in ourselves, that we stand in our own way and we don't, we don't see. Sometimes we think God is working through us, but God is not be given the opportunity to work because of our constant own self-gratification and own self-promotion. Not saying that's the case with Sister Mariana. I'm just saying, I'm just putting some things out there. So when you find that the mass is not agreeing with, um, with her, it's usually because people... Spirit, people feel something negative. It's not, they're not feeling love. They're not feeling that it's something genuine. They're, it just, it, the way in which it is done, it's not coming from a good place. And also what you have to understand, so going to, um, coming into church and why a lot of people don't go to church and why a lot of Christians stand in God's way, even though God can remove you. But a lot of Christians, they believe that they're the ones doing the saving. And number two, I've noticed recently, there's no member anymore. Every single body that gets baptized or becomes saved, God has used them straight away. Which I don't know God to be that way because in the word of God, and as I said, I am my life, I right now, I don't attend church as I used to. And I have my reasons, it's not saying church is wrong, church is good. But I just don't attend because of my reasons. And I'm saying, God, show me the right church. The church that you want me to be. Um, so church so church is good. Because you don't forsake the assembly of God. But I do church with my mom. And I talk to my neighbors. You know, my friends are over. I'm just saying, I have a relationship with the Lord. I talk to my God and I am connected. Despite what, what people may think. Again, it's deeper than... Just looking on someone. That's something I had to learn. Growing in life. I've had to learn. To learn recently. So what I'm saying is. When you're just coming into the, the, the fold of God. 
as myself being a young Christian at that time. I remember when they gave us, us a scripture about, they gave us a scripture about feeding on the sincere word, which is the, the metaphor milk. So a baby, so as a new Christian, you're a baby that is given milk. Means God is going to give you spoon feed your milk. Because you're not going to, God is not going to, what I mean by that, spoon feed your milk, meaning it's like a baby, so I'm going to spoon feed your things. Because remember, when you become a Christian, and this is my experience, I've had the experience, you're growing spiritually. Once you're committed and you want to, you're reading a word, you're praying, you start to grow spiritually. I've had this experience. It's a, it's a beautiful experience. And guys, I said, no one can tell me, say, God, not real, because I, I've had the experience. But all you're growing is like a baby, because God can't just give meat for heat, because you're a baby. So you're being fed, so little by little, right? You're taking your time and, you know, you're feeding on your milk, because you're getting stronger, you're being nourished. You're learning things about God and the word, even the scriptures. Sometimes you open the book, the word of God and God, imp the Holy Spirit imparts things to you. Things that you didn't see before. Revelation start to take, take, take shape. You're seeing things clearer than you saw before. And you just start to grow and grow. What I know as a baby, God is not going to throw you into the deep end of ministry. Why I say that? I have seen on a ministry before when I, this was when I was about two years into my, two years into my Christianity. And my friend Diane will testify to this. We were on a mission. And there was two Christian young ladies that just got saved. And you know when they get saved, they get excited. Because a lot of us, as soon as we get saved, we feel like we want to be used. And that's our problem. They always say, stay low and God will bring you high. But if you want to be high, then you will be brought low. Not saying from God, but I'm just saying. A lot of us as Christians, once we get saved, we want God to, we want to be what, um, raising the dead. We want to be doing all of these things because it's all about ourselves. You know, when you come to Christ, you have to die to self and live in Christ. Hope this makes sense. Dying to self means... It's not about what I want, my gain, my gratification, my self-promotion. It's about even if God wants me to sweep the church, that's what I will do. Because it's not, it's not about my glory. It's about the glory of the Lord. I say all of that to say this, that you're a, once you're a you know, Christian, you're a baby. And then gradually you're growing in the faith. Because going back to what I was saying about those two young ladies, we were at mission and someone was under a demonic attack. Or was on that spiritual attack. And let me tell you something. These two young ladies ran to come and to come and pray for that individual. And when I saw, I never saw this in my life. I saw one of them fly so. One of them fly so. Some things have experience. Some things have experience, guys. Some things have experience, I'm telling you. This, when you, come, when you hear the Bible talk about principalities and powers, warfare, spiritual matters, these things are real. The devil is real. Principalities and powers, they're there. Demonic influence, infiltrations, they're real. And if you are not equipped spiritually, you will be battered if you're going at them play, if you're going at those um, play field or those mines. You don't call them a field of mines, bombs going off. A serious thing that's I'm gonna play with God. If I know I'm not living right, I am not going to be in church doing certain things. Me not play with God business because trust me, I want a serious thing to play with. You don't play with God business. You understand? No. Coming back now to um, Marianne, um, formerly known as Lady Sir, and how she went about this. You understand? What you see is happening is that a lot of times we... So say we used to live a certain life and we come into the fall. A lot of people do that. We come into the fall. We feel like, okay, so me, it's my responsibility you now to it's my responsibility to change you or force you to be like me. And that is a problem. Because it's not man that does the saving, it's God. You know many people frustrated with me when I just when I left when I came out of church and I got pregnant. And you know many people try to counsel me and was frustrated with me. Because they were not getting me where they, they were not getting me to just go back 
or just say yes, I'm back in church tomorrow. Because I was telling them, I felt like I needed, I was, God is working on me. I may not be in church at that time, but I felt that God was working on me. The Lord said, if you make your bed in a hell, he shall be there. You're not saying you should make your bed in hell, but I felt I knew God was with me, working on me, using those things, the things, the mess. He was using that to bring about a message in me, through me. Hallelujah. Through me. Feel this in my spirit. May I say it now and it may just feel it in my spirit. God was using me to bring about something. God was using these experiences, the mess, to bring about a message because sometimes God will let you go through the valley to restore you. Like Joseph, look at Joseph dropping a well. And from the well to the palace. So from the well to Potiphar's house, to prison, to the palace. Guys, this is serious matter. So going back to that. I remember the first time I went into church and I wear this short skirt because that is who I am. Because that is what I know. I didn't know any better. And I remember I remember wearing the short skirt into church. And a church sister, which was very wrong, came on in front of everybody. Start pulling on my skirt like this. I was so embarrassed. I understand that skirt wasn't appropriate for church. But that was what I know. The Lord said, come as you are. That is what we understand. So you see, at a time, when she did that and I felt embarrassed and all of that. As time went on. I started to feel uncomfortable wearing certain things in church. I started to feel convicted because that is how the Lord works. And little by little, I started to, adjustments started to be made. And this is what I think Marian All, aka Lady Saw, is missing. Why this is missing, in my opinion? Because she is not allowing, in my opinion, it is almost as if you are trying to do the saving. And this is not the way I believe that God works. You understand? You see, sometimes you don't even have to say anything. Let me tell you, oh, as a Christian, and you want to be an influence to your farmer, to your to the people of the dance hall that you're coming from. You don't have to go and tell them to serve God, you know? You don't have to tell them to change up the songs that they do, you know? You don't have to tell them to do none of that. You know what you have to do? As a woman of God, as you say you are and you're living for God, you live so that your light will shine. So that Maka Diamond, so that Chensia, so that Spice, so that all of these people, Jada Kingdom, you name them, can see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. A lot of times we think we have to tell people to come to salvation. Somebody should look at you, but not about your appearance. Not saying they should be extricated and all of that. But I've learned that a lot of people that you see, you look at, and you think, you know, them not clean, them cleaner than even the people that look so decent. And I've just something I've learned. But the Bible said, let your light shine. You see, you see, when the Holy Spirit is working through you as a minister, they will see, I want what you have. They will see and say, yes, look at Lady Sir, she's no Marian all. And God is using her. I can see the change. I can see the light. I want that. And then they will be drawn to you. Not you need to tear them down. Because I'm being real. Honestly, it, it is a tear down. That is not how God do things. At least, as in, in my opinion, the God that I know. And then there's a follow-up video. And this is not being negative or tearing tear on Mary and all. Because... At the end of the day, sometimes we just have to be humble and just understand. You understand that what we are doing is not, what we do is how we do it. And allow the Holy Spirit to lead us and stop leading ourselves. You understand? We just have to be wary of that. Like I said, I'm not saying she's leading herself. I know. I'm just, look, I'm just using what I, what I heard from her mouth. And knowing that that doesn't match up with what the word of God say. Or how God does things. Right? Even though I know God does, is not put in a box. But God is a God of love. And a God of compassion and care. Now, even the follow-up video when she was saying about doing a collab with Shenzia. I didn't like the way she did it. You see, again, oh, you're doing it. Um, You love the young lady. She's saying that she love the young lady, but the young lady need a better writer. And then she's going to do a song that's going to with her. Again, I could see right through that. That's condescending. That is like you're telling me. Right? Like you're telling me, I'm no good. 
But you doing a song with me is going to make you be make me better. Is that the way you do things? That's not the way you do things. That's not the way oh, you come out of love. You're going to offend somebody when you come in to say that they don't want good writers. Or basically, you're trying to say you love them. Them have talent, but them not do well. But you're going to make them do well because how that sound is that I'm going to make you. And I was like, nah. Mm, nah, this, this, this is not it. But again, I'm not judging. I can't judge. But I'm just saying it by, you know, by their fruits. Fruits, you know, it's what you're producing. We shall know they, by their fruits. You shall know them. And it's what is produced before us. I'm, I'm not a big YouTuber. You understand? I'm not a big, I'm not a vlogger. I don't classify myself as a vlogger or a big YouTuber. I just come on my channel. My channel is quite small. I come, I share my, um, what I have to say. I get roughly 80 views. Sometimes more depending on how my, where, where the video goes. You know what I mean? You know, I try to be as, you know, real on my channel. I am real on my channel. So it's not like I'm no big YouTuber. You know, but I want to share my thoughts on this. Because there's a way that seems it right to a man, but the end thereof is dead. And it's not what you do is how you do it. Leave these young ladies. Same way you find your way. As ladies saw, they will find their way. Hey, God has a way of bringing about some things in us that we can't even understand. But you can't force people to come to God. It's God that does the saving, not us. And that is why we get so frustrated as Christians. You know, like a lot of Christians in church. A lot of people in church, they get frustrated when they're trying to get somebody to come to church and the person taking long. People have to come to their own mind because coming into church is not a plaything. That is a decision that everybody needs to make. When they say they want to serve God, they say, okay, meeting to God. That's a decision that everybody needs to make for themselves. Not you telling them to stop what they're doing. Because at the end of the day, we don't need to tell people to stop. We just need you don't need to we don't need to tell people to stop. We just need to live a life that's exemplary that they can look on and want to stop because they see the light of Jesus in you. And they want to come, they want to taste what you're tasting. They want to experience what you're experiencing. They want to wonder who comes. She not have no help of money. She not have no, she not a dance all again. She not doing all of this, but she's so happy. She's so, con, she so content. Because the greatest emptiness is people going around making money and thinking that is, that is true. That is true happiness. True happiness comes from Jesus Christ. And I will never drop that. I will never stop saying that. It comes from peace within and believing in God, trusting in God and being content with what you have. That is true happiness. Not the worldly things. So it's about the life we live that people will see and draw and want to taste of that. Want to taste of that. Not us telling them how to live or how to be. Because at the end of the day, it's God that does the saving. And at the end of the day, most of these songs, which I'm going to make a part two, I'm going to make another video on this. Most of the songs that you see being played in dancehall, it's not new these things are from olden days. Jamaica's always had this culture, this slack culture. But the difference was, these things were underground, basements. The problem that we have in dancehall today is not the dancehall music. The problem that we have in dancehall today is the protection of our young people, our children. We, we growing up, were far more protected from these type of content. As opposed to these kids nowadays. But guys, don't be fooled. I've done a video on that last two years ago. Because I was shocked to find out that these dirty songs, I know Aisha and them created. I know Spice them created. This has come from generation. And I bet you will be shocked to know that too. But do your research and you will know what I'm talking about. They didn't create dirty music in a dance hall. I know just recently dirty music started. But the difference is these were content that adults who wanted to partake of it could go in basements and listen to these songs. They weren't allowed on radios. They weren't allowed in buses. Kids weren't allowed to access them because I never heard them growing up. But nowadays, there's no control. And it's everywhere, which I think is a government issue where the government should put legislation in place 
to ban these things on the buses and whatever and so on so that those who want to partake of these things this music can only partake of it at certain location underground or wherever basements or private locations that is what i think needs to be that is what i think needs to be implemented implemented so guys um i know it's a short video but if you've made it this far into the video guys um i'm i'm sure it's interesting that you've made it this far so um as always guys please do give this video a thumbs up um share your thoughts i'd love to hear what you guys have to say on this share your thoughts you know i know sage is gonna share is you know thank you so much sage for always you know the support you know that's my brother sage from um sage talk check him out great you know thank you thank you sage and all the others that has commented and so on you know just share your thoughts on this and let me know what you think until next time godspeed big ups bye guys <laughs>